Welcome back to Writer's Ambition. For those of you who have been hanging in since episode one, you're a real one. And for those of you who are just finding my humble channel, welcome. We hope you stay a while. So, y'all, it's Black History Month. It's Black History Month. Is there a smile in your soul? Should be. So, I was not tagged in this, but I'm just going to do it. Um, it's the Black History Month tag, and um, Ash, I will put the cre the creator down below. I did not take note of their name at all. Shame on me, but I'll put it down below in the description box. I saw Ashley from Bookish Realm do this, um, and was just like, that looks cool, so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. Okay, um, the questions are as follows. Number one. What is a book everyone should be reading during Black History Month? Give one fiction and one nonfiction title. Okay. The first one, and like I imagine how shocked we all are. The first one is Wings of Ebony. It is. I, it is. The first one is Wings of Ebony by J.L. It's a fan, for those, for, especially for those who are like, I'm a fantasy chick and or dude or human and I will not be moved from my fantasy for any reason. Fine. This is an intercity, uh, intercity, inner city black teen and there's still magic all around. So Wings of Ebony is your, is your thing, but it also gets at the black experience um, in America. Um, I feel like a lot of fantasies try to escape. Um, or make it into a metaphor, don't really deal with it all that much. Like, Wings of Ebony gets right up in its grill and it's like, let's look at the thing. Let's stare the thing down. Matter of fact, matter of fact let's go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the thing. Wings of Ebony. I was trying, I forgot that this part, <laughs> that this question had two parts. Don't you hate that? Um, and I was like, oh, a non-fiction. Ah. Well, let's say this. Um, yes, yes. Let's say this, you should read The Sovereignty of Quiet by Kevin Kwashi. It is um, The Sovereignty of Quiet by Kevin Kwashi beyond resistance in black culture. And I am talking about that book in a couple weeks. So you can get a head start and read that. It's a very simple read, but it talks about, um, it talks about how black people are assumed to be public implicitly and just like at the base of black existence is public is publicness and is resistance and those two things are used basically interchangeably um and he reads several books to talk about that he goes through um several other nonfiction texts that we have talked about here so if you read the if you watch the respectability video he cites some women from that so brush up on the video and then Go, go, go talk to Professor Kwashi and Sovereignty of Quiet. Yes. So those are my two. Wings of Ebony and Sovereignty of Quiet. Go forth. Number two. Which Black booktuber would you recommend watching and why? I would say Lit underscore Nana because her editing is amazing. Um, and also booking it with Atia because I just think she makes cool content. She created Yonsei-a-thon, which was the first readathon I did. So when I'm like six months in looking back, I was like, that was really helpful, both to like help me create content and to get myself out of this sort of rigid, like every Tuesday is Runner's Ambition. Like I was uploading videos on Friday, like very short videos that I was not pressuring myself to make into 10 minute videos. So I was like, oh, this is helpful. So like, I'm super grateful for Atia to Atia for shaking me out of my structure. Um, so go check out both of those channels, lit underscore Nana and um, 
I think she actually changed it to just Lit Nana. So anyway, Lit Nana and Booking It With Atiyah, I will link both of their channels in the description along with Ashley's because I saw this video on her channel. And then the, con the, the tag creator, all of those will be in the description box. Three, what is your favorite book written by a black author from an African country? I, well, I, I'm struggling in my spirit for some reasons. Um, one, I have to do better at reading books by authors from African countries, one. And two is because I almost said Nalo Hopkinson, The Salt Road, but like, calling that a favorite book is a stretch. And, and it's, it's a stretch in the way like, saying that Beloved is a great book or that it's like you love that book is a stretch where it's like the book is amazing right it's not the book that's the problem it's the content that's difficult and the salt roads by Nalo Hopkinson is difficult um but that's the one I'll put she's a Jamaican American author um and I'll do better in 2021 let's say that also, The Gilded Ones, Namina Forna. I believe she's from Sierra Leone. That book is coming out on February 9th. So perhaps on the day of this video's drop, that book is out. Um, so The Salt Road, heavy. Be aware it's heavy. Um, I don't even remember all the trigger warnings for that book. Let's say sexual violence and slavery are the two huge trigger warnings of the salt roads by Nala Hopkinson and then the gilded ones I heard has trigger warnings for violence and they are based on experiences that Mamina had in Sierra Leone um so those are two um and both of those are more like fantastic I mean gilded was a straight up white fantasy Nala Hopkinson is in the adult category but you got options we got options you can I'm feeling singy today we're back in the musical that is my life welcome come in Come on in the room. Come on in the room. If you know that, you are Southern Country Church. Amen. Okay, so number four. What is your favorite Black classic? Please hold for, for greatness. Excuse me while I just snatch the most wonderful. Uh, but because a lot of people go here first i'm touching beloved a lot of people go here first and careful be careful um this heavy place to start for morrison heavy place to start for morrison dip a toe better yet dip a toe but you know to each his own i'm just saying Classic, when it comes to the classics, Mama Morrison has a special place in all of our... Oh, yo, I have yet to really use this area to the best of its ability. Look how aesthetically pleasing that is. I need to do better. Anyway, now watch me knock these down somehow also. Don't laugh. Okay, anyway. Number five, um, which movie slash book to movie adaptation slash documentary would you recommend watching during Black History Month? And to this, I will say, um, I don't know of a ton of book to movie adaptations, but you can check out Tiny Pretty Things um, that was written by Donna O. Clayton. For sure, it's now on Netflix. Um, and also, maybe if you want to do like a more serious sort of read, um, maybe take this month to read a black biography, anything. So like you could do Malcolm X, you can do A Taste of Power by Elaine Brown, who was the first and only female leader of the Black um, Panther Party for Self-Defense. Um, they're like many, many and myriad. Um, so you could read an autobiography from any black historical figure from any time period who all you know about them is your name. I challenge you to read that book and there is probably a documentary on them so that's what I'll say like I could give just randoms but I actually think like if you have someone who like you hear referenced often you individually you hear them referenced often and you don't know who they are 
and read find the autobiography on them there probably is one and then look up and see if it's a documentary or if they show up in someone else's documentary do the work okay six what's on your tbr for black history month okay and here i'm going to insert my blackathon tbr um which was going to be a separate video until i saw this question and i was like uh feels like a hybrid to me okay so blackathon 2021 I am doing Team SFF. I cannot remember who is leading this on YouTube. Her face is in my head and I just can't manifest it for you. Um, but I'm doing that. So here is my TBR for Black History Month, Blackathon 2021. Um, for the Rita Woods prompt, I am doing which that prompt is a character traverses the spirit realm or heavily embodies black spirituality spiritual or spiritualism i'm reading rita wood's um book remembrance it came out in 2020 um you could also read my life as an onion by carol mcdowell transcendent kingdom by yag yasti or the salt rose by nala hopkinson um the second prompt is Tade thompson um a black protagonist encounters an alien civilization or alien technology I want to read the Wormwood, the Wormwood Trilogy, um, and book one is Rosewater, and that's by Todd A. Thompson. Um, you, if you want to get weird with it, um, there's an Alien Overlord series by Taylor Vaughn. It's um, Paranormal Romance. Now, the caveat is Taylor Vaughn is actually two writers, Theodore Taylor, who is black, and Taylor Vaughn, who is white. I'm just saying. Um, the protagonists are black women. The aliens are not human. And they're like different colors, like blue and gold and whatever. So like, they're not raced in any humanly recognizable way, shall we say. Um, but that's just a thing. Alien Overlord series. Um, and then Lagoon by Nanetia Core 4. That's another one. Um, okay, Octavia Butler, Time Travel... That's the third prompt. Third prompt, Octavia Butler. Time travel as a major component to the story. Obviously, Kindred. What a beautiful cover. What a beautiful freaking cover. You can do Kindred, which is an old faithful. Um, 1979, sort of an urtext for um, black science fiction and fantasy. Um, another Octavia Butler, Wild Sea from the Patternist series. Um, and then the salt roads also is is um fitting for this prompt so according to jesse from Bo bow ties and books or books and bow ties who created this readathon you can use one book that satisfies all of these if you so choose it's looking like the salt roads by nala hopkinson will do that for you okay and then the group book for that is the lesson by cadwell um turnbull so that's that. So that's my TBR. Um, I'm not going to be reading a lot of like extra books this month because your girl is getting back into writing her dissertation and that's already coming with a whole with, you know, a whole lot of books to read. So as far as like other books that do not pertain to my dissertation, this is it. It's four and it's four. Okay, um, back to the biz. Which new release, number seven, which new releases by Black writers are you looking forward to the most this year? It's the same. It's always the same. Um, Blood Like Magic by Lizelle Stanberry. Um, put it on your wanna reads for Goodreads. Beast of Prey by Ayana Gray. That's coming out in September. And the third book is, it's untitled yet to my knowledge, but it's the third book in the Roman You series by Alexandria House. I'm, t I'm, I'm, I'm very hungry. Please feed me. I need this book badly. Like, I need it. I need it. Because this character that she's about to write about is messy as heck. And Octavia, not Octavia Butler, Alexandria House has not written a protagonist this messy yet, to my knowledge. I want her redemption arc and I also am like what guy is she gonna get I need to know anyway so those are my three most anticipated Lizelle's book is coming out in June or July 
um, Ayana Gray's in September, the Romeo um, series finale at some point this year date is unknown. Although I think I might have heard a whisper that it could be sometime in February. I don't know. But anyway, so that's it for this video. Um, I wasn't tagged, so maybe you don't have to be tagged to participate. I just sort of snagged. I wasn't tagged. I just snagged. So I guess you can snag too. I'm not in a position to give permission. All the alliteration. I'm feeling singy today. Can you tell? Hmm. Anyway, um, so that's it for this video. Um, in the comments, tell me what your favorite classic is. I almost gave you an out, but I won't give you an out. I almost said it doesn't matter if it's not a black classic, but it does. It's Black History Month. If it never matters, it's going to matter this month. Tell me your favorite black classic. If you don't have one, then tell me one that you want to read. If you don't know any, I'm not going to shame you. If you don't know any, then of the ones that I like, put my hands on tell me which one looks most interesting aesthetically or plot wise whatever we got Sula we got Below we got some Asylum we got Kindred we have well is Home a classic I don't know that that's they have to be classic uh we have the color purple the salt eaters which I didn't mention the salt eaters by Tony Kate Bambara also a classic so whatever your eyes touch on this shelf if you can discern the title from your position and it looks interesting and you have neither read a black classic nor have one on your TBR choose one of these and and decide within your heart to read it this month okay that is all I have for you today literates I will catch you in the next one bye bye